Hello, this is Evan Yuanu with 44.com Impressions Magazine. Today I have with me Susie Allman of Charlie Dog and Friends. Susie, how are you doing today? Great. How are you doing? Doing well, thanks. I want to thank you for taking time out to meet with us. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about yourself and your organization. What do you guys do? Sure. Um, so Charlie Dog and Friends is a plush toy company. Um, all of our toys are based on um, real-life animal rescues. And the company was created just to raise money for um, dog and cat rescue organizations. And they make great pets, so it's a way to encourage people to adopt before they you know, go to a breeder and buy a, a dog or cat. Do these dogs end up becoming a, sort of a template of sorts whereby you'll reproduce that particular plush toy over and over? Or is each one unique? Right. So um, what we do is we'll, we'll find a dog that's sort of, you know, either it's inspiring or it's really cute. It looks like, you know, a plush toy. Um, and a lot of these dogs are so unique looking. Um, you know, we'll take one dog and make a thousand toys Got based it. on that dog. Um, and that gives us enough to, you know, create something that's uh, unique, but we don't have a million of them. So we're going to run out of them and then we can do another, you know, we'll bring another dog out. So we're sort of retiring them as we go and, and bringing new ones out. Um, so they'll call and ask if we can do a, a custom one, and that's something sure. we're getting into. So we have a few seamstresses and toy designers who will make a custom pet. Are you guys a, a nonprofit, or is this a for-profit organization? You know, it's a for-profit organization, okay. but our margins are so close to the bone because we try to build giving into everything we do. Exactly, yeah, so from what I've it, seen. Yeah, it is very hard to turn down people who, you know, they're putting their own money into rescues or shelters. Or, yeah, so it's kind of, you know, we're going along. It's supposed to be a for-profit. <laughs> sure, so, sure. No, I understand. That's fascinating. But what's interesting is, is how you take a cause like this, and I, and I imagine this is something of personal significance to you. I mean, you don't just go into a business looking to rescue animals just as a hobby. I think probably this is something important to you. Am I right about that? Yeah, I, I adopted a dog, Charlie, years okay. ago. You know, you get a dog, you, you sort of fall in love with it. And, you know, once you once you have a dog like that, you can't look at dogs in the shelter. Knowing how much they need and love people, you can't, it's hard to right. think of dogs exactly right. like him. I thought maybe there's something I can do. And there aren't um, stuffed animals based on shelter pets. And then to take, uh, you know, this idea and to turn it into not just a business but to go into a business whereby you actually have to develop a product and have it produced that's very complicated how did you go about that i'm, I'm curious i found a toy designer she kind of got what i was trying to do and designed the first toy with charlie fantastic how long have you guys been around we started the whole process three years ago these were larger toys and then we came out with these small um seven inch plush toys called pocket titties which are they're they're just they're kind of like gamey babies how what kind of new dimensions you might be able to add to this over time is that something right. that you guys have thought about yeah so it started with the the clothes but um also with these toys we ship them with a postcard and the postcard okay. has a picture of the, of the real life dog on it wow and then, that's amazing yeah <laughs> And then sometimes the kids will write a postcard and send it to the dog. Great. Um, so there's, there's that kind of interaction. Just having a little toy like this is kind of a way of, you know how people, people get really passionate. Um, it's a way of sort of having a little piece of that animal. Or Absolutely. Um, what are your thoughts and what are some of the things you've done or that you have in mind for the future in terms of using uh, technology? Like, social media is, like, the big engine behind Charlie Dogs because okay. if you go to our Facebook page, it's, it's not really about the toys, even. It's about dogs that are right now in the shelter and need a home. So we'll post the dog that needs a home, and it'll get, you know, shared. Hopefully wow. the dog has a home by the next day. Like, that, that's amazing, our... Amazing, We do it. Yeah, so then, you know, y your page gets shared, and you can really build um, a big following that way. So, and then we'll donate um, toys to, like, hospitals or um, if somebody, if there's a uh, therapy dog visiting a shelter or a hospital or a nursing home, we'll donate the toys. Um, but we'll also, you know, go back and post on Facebook. So, it's kind of like a backdoor way of advertising your product. You know, not everybody 
wants a stuffed animal. Not everybody needs a stuffed animal. It's certainly not something you're going to buy over and over again. So, um, and the other thing we like to do is um, I volunteer a lot. I like to transport dogs if they get adopted. I'll go and drive them. Um, And what that means is that, yeah, but like a, a happy ending story will go, it'll travel a lot further than pictures of my stuffed animals. So, yeah, no question. Mm-hmm. Susie, we want to thank you for sharing your time with us. Having spent some time here with Susie Allman of Charlie Dog and Friends, you can visit Susie's website at charliedogandfriends.com. Susie, again, thanks so much. Hey, thank you, Evan.